The year 914. The Kingdom of Mercia was being threatened by Danish Vikings. To repel these northern invaders, Ethelfleda, daughter of Alfred the Great, ordered the construction of the first fortification here at Warwick. It was, in fact, another invader who was responsible for the castle we know today, William the Conqueror. Join me as we take a tour round this magnificent structure. Two years after beating the Anglo-Saxon army at the Battle of Hastings, William the Conqueror consolidated his power by moving through England and building a series of Martin Bailey forts to contain the local population. William entrusted the construction of Warwick Castle to Henry de Newborough, soon to acquire the noble title, the Earl of Warwick. He would retain control of Warwick Castle for five generations. The next important owner was William de Beauchamp. He ordered the construction of Guy's Tower and the Gatehouse and Barbican, all completed by the year 1395. On the 2nd of March 1450, King Henry VI conferred unto Richard Neville the title the Earl of Warwick. History was to know him better as Warwick the Kingmaker for his role in the War of the Roses. In the year 1604, Warwick Castle was gifted to Sir Fulk Greville from the unpopular King James I. OK, let's knock the history lesson on the head for a bit and take a little walk around the grounds. show which is called The Falconer's Quest. You're going to see some of the world's biggest birds, some of the world's fastest and we really really hope you enjoy our show preview and it is a preview because there's a few birds that are still struggling to get their routines in check you know um, a huge owl the other day did kill a small child wearing a green vest so uh, you know uh, you know but we can do that here apparently it's no problem but uh, like I say enjoy our preview of The Falconer's Quest.
and now entering the Great Hall. The Great Hall and State Rooms paint a colourful picture of the first chapter of the House of Greville and stand as a testament to the beautiful character of the 17th and 18th century Warwick Castle. Displaying a collection of armour and weapons that is largely considered to be the best, finest collection in all of the UK. This room used to be the state dining room and has had some impressive party guests Queen Victoria, Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II, two US presidents, and an array of movie and rock stars. The present chapel was commissioned by Sir Fulk Greville in the 1600s. Its dark and moody atmosphere reflects the Calvinistic theology of the period and would have lacked the beautiful decoration of most private chapels. In 1898, the Countess of Warwick, fondly known as Daisy, hosted a party at which the principal guest was the Prince of Wales, later to become King Edward VII.
Well, that's about it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed our walk around Warwick Castle. If you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.